Get off that flimsy great coat, brat boy. Your feet are not wet. My dear Jack, I'm as dry as a bone. Don't moddly coddly, there's a good fellow. Any dinner, Uncle? You forget, Ned, that Uncle and Nephew are words prohibited here by express agreement. I say. Tell me, Jack, do you rarely and truly feel as if the mention of our relationship divides us at all? I don't. Uncles, as a rule, Ned, are so much older than their nephews that I have that feeling instinctively. Ah, uh, maybe, but what is the difference in age of a half dozen years or so? Some uncles in large families are not even younger than their nephews. Hello, Jack. Don't drink. Why not? He asks, why not? On the birthday of my own betrothed, I give you Rosa. Rosa. To the fair Miss Rosebud on the occasion of her birthday, and whose portrait you have for some reason chosen to keep here in your home. Although I must say, Jack, that it's it's one of my poorest efforts. I'm not cut out for the arts like you. Why do you hang it there? Oh, it reminds me of you, Ned, and of the happiness I wish you and Rosa on your forthcoming marriage. Yes, I'm sure we'll be quite happy. Still... It isn't satisfactory to have no choice in such a matter. An unavoidable flatness enters our lovemaking, owing to a marriage all, all having been settled beforehand. Nonetheless, if I could choose, I'd choose Rosa from all the pretty girls in the world. Yes, but you have not got to choose. That's what I complain of. My dead and gone father and her dead and gone father had us as good as married at birth. Why the devil couldn't they just leave us alone? Tut tut, my dear boy. Tut tut. Yes, Jack, it's all very well for you. Your life is not laid down to scale and lined and dotted out for you like a surveyor's plan. Don't stop, my dear fellow. Go on. Have I hurt your feelings, Jack? I, how could you have hurt my feelings? Good heavens, Jack, you look frightfully ill. There's a strange film come over your eyes. It's, uh, I, I have been taking medicine for a pain, an agony that overcomes me. The effects will soon be gone. My dear uncle. You were going to say what a quiet life mine is. I hate it. Hate it, Jack. How does our service sound to you, Ned? Beautiful, quite celestial. It often sounds quite devilish to me. The echoes of my own voice in the arches seem to mock me. Oh, Jack, I thought you had so exactly found your niche in life. I know you had thought so, they all do. So, you know now that even a poor, monotonous chorister and grinder of music in his niche may be troubled with some stray sort of ambition, aspiration, restlessness, dissatisfaction, what shall we call it? Yes, dear Jack. Then take it as a warning, Ned. And Ned! This is a confidence between us. It shall be sacredly preserved, Jack. I have confided in you because... because we are fast friends and because you love and trust me as I love and trust you. It's very... <laughs> Oh, we knew. 